What's up guys, IDY Self here, and today I wanted to test iOS 10.3.3 versus iOS 10.3.2. Apple released 10.3.3 two days ago and I had a little chance to play around with it and also do a battery test. And I also wanted to do some performance tests in this video for you guys. So on the left here, the gold iPhone 7 Plus, we have 10.3.3. On the right, which is the red iPhone 7 Plus, we have 10.3.2. So first I'm going to go ahead and boot up both devices at the same time just to see which one boots up faster and then we'll do other performance tests on both of these devices and at the end have a time lapse for you guys to see the battery performance and which one performed better in terms of battery. So at a count of three we're going to go ahead and power up one two three. There we go both devices at the same time. It looks like 10.3.2 actually the Apple logo showed up first but of course we're going to wait for the official boot up here. Let's go ahead and wait for that. So it looks like 10.3.2 came in first for about a second and a half or two. Uh, nothing drastic, so boot up times pretty close to identical. Let's go ahead and test the entire operating system. Let's go into Safari here, and let's go to Apple.com. All right, so let's go ahead and click Go at the same time. See which one loads faster. 10.3.2, once again, to me, loaded a little faster. We go ahead and scroll through here and see. Scrolling is close to identical on both devices, honestly. Let me go ahead and do that again here. Let me show you the scrolling. So the scrolling is close to identical, but it looked like 10.3.2 actually uh, loaded the website faster. Now that it's loaded, let's go ahead and reload it quick. Uh, that was identical. It was already loaded, so pretty much identical there. Let's launch applications here. See, in terms of launching applications and loading the apps, 10.3.2 by a hair, but it is a little faster. As you can see there, let's go here to the widgets, and let's go over to the control center here. Just about the same speed, notification center. Just about the same speed there as well. Okay, so that's just minor UI browsing and just kind of like going through the operating system. What you would expect. Everything is flowing relatively nice on both devices. A slight advantage on 10.3.2 in my opinion, but let me know in the comments down below what you think. Now, I'm also going to go ahead and run a Geekbench score test here. And you see 10.3.2 on the right, 10.3.3 on the left. So we're going to go ahead and start both of these at the same time and uh, go ahead and see what the results are. I'm not going to worry too much which one ends the test faster, but actually you see the scores, what the scores will be. So let's go ahead and wait for the final results. All right, there it is, 10.3.2, a single core score of 35.38 and a multi-core score of 59.59. iOS 10.3.3, we have a single core of 34.75 and a multi-core score of 58.77. Actually, 10.3.2 performed better on that area as well. Alright, so now I'm going to run the time lapse for you guys. As you can see here on the left, once again, 10.3.3. On the right, 10.3.1. Both devices charged to 100%. And the Wi-Fi Bluetooth was enabled. Brightness on the display was 90% on both. And 10.3.2, once again, beats 10.3.3 by a four to five minutes of extra on-screen time on this test. But nonetheless, iOS 10.3.3 does include some important security patches, but 10.3.2 actually performed better on the iPhone 7 Plus. And there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like always, don't forget to click that thumbs up. I hope you guys have a great day and enjoy the video, and I'll catch you guys real soon. Peace.